Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be making a song from scratch, sort of a rock pop song in the style of the 70s and 60s. So I've loaded up some 70s drums, so let's start off by laying the drums. Just going to keep it super simple. I'm also going to layer some Lindrum samples from the 80s, which was a drum machine. Turn off the metronome, loop this over. Alright, next I'm going to record the guitars and I'm going to be using the RE20, which I typically don't use for guitars, but I'm too lazy to plug in my other mic since I have all these synthesizers connected. All right, that's good enough for acoustic guitar. It's not the primary instrument in the song, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right, first we need to tune this sucker. All right, so I've got my trusty P bass here running through the cluster flux Mogerfoger set to a chorus effect, so we get this type of sound. Brother, good enough for rock and roll. All right, so I've got my Jaguar here. I'm running it through Native Instruments guitar rig with the preset Andy in a bottle, which has that kind of chorus sound. Let's record a little riff. And duplicate yet again at a third track. Always using the same sounds, brother. <laughs> So the way I layer these parts is that I typically just listen to the song and try to hear a melody in my head. So if I hear a little riff that sounds good while sung, chances are it'll sound good on guitar. So this one I had a riff idea like... Sounds pretty good, so I'm going to leave it in there. So just for the hell of it, I'm going to record kind of like a single strum type of... I think I have enough guitar parts, I'm gonna store this guy. Alright, so I have my Poly 6 engaged now, running through the Mogafroger phaser, so it sounds like this. A bit of reverb via Valhalla. I'm just going to lay down a nice soft bed in the verse here. All 
right, now I've turned the Poly 6 into a lead patch by reducing the release a bit, opening a cutoff, increasing the resonance, and running everything through this mini ring modulator. With lots of delay and reverb via Valhalla. So I'm going to record a little bit of a... Uh... That's one kind of solo. All right, so I've loaded up a uh, Scarby A200, which is a Wurlitzer plugin, running it through a saturator and a phaser. So we get that classic old school sound. Hello brother, what's going on here? Alright, so it's finally time to record some vocals. So I'm going to be running it through the Chip Crusher plugin, which has emulations of a bunch of lo-fi speakers and gadgets that you can run stuff through. So the vocal sounds like this. Hey, 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 this is where you fly. Take me to your home tonight. Tell me everything will be alright. I don't want to be here anymore. Pierce my heart. I don't want to be here anymore Cause I'm ready This is my life Everyone is getting old That is just what I've been told Alright, that's it for the first round of vocals So let me maybe double it up Hey, 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 this is where you fly Take me to your home tonight oh, I might do a harmony in the chorus here Cause I'm ready This is ready Alright guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there I'm gonna spend some time off camera mixing it, mastering it I'll put it on Spotify, iTunes and all that good jazz And also play the song right now after the video Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next